This video is going to show you how to quickly get started provisioning and enrolling Windows devices using Windows Configuration Designer. Before we get started, you might be wondering what a provisioning package is. In simple terms, a provisioning package is a set of instructions in a file that is used to configure various Windows components. It can contain things like a bulk enrollment token, a device name template, settings and apps. In terms of Intune, the bulk enrollment token and Untra ID auto-enrollment results in the device being joined to Untra ID and enrolled into Intune. To prepare a provisioning package, sometimes called a PPKG, we configure the package using Windows Configuration Designer, save the PPKG file, and then copy it to a USB drive. Once we have our PPKG, we can use it on devices after unboxing them by inserting the USB stick and then powering on the device. In this video, I'll start by showing you how to create a provisioning package using Windows Configuration Designer. Then I'll show you how we can use that provisioning package to provision Windows devices. To complete this quick start guide, you'll need a Windows computer, and you'll need to install the free Windows Configuration Designer app from the Microsoft Store. You'll need a USB stick with some free space, and finally, you'll need a Windows device to test the package on. To create a provisioning package that joins under ID and enrolls into Intune, the account creating the package needs to have permission to create a bulk token. A bulk token can be created by a global administrator, Intune service administrator, password administrator, or a cloud device administrator. All right, let's get started creating our provisioning package. Open up the Windows Configuration Designer app on your computer. Click on Provision Desktop Devices and then choose a name for your PPKG and the location where you want to save it. Once you're ready, click Finish to create the project. On the Setup Device screen, we can start by choosing if we'd like to set a device name template. You can either leave the default Windows name or you can choose to specify a prefix and Windows will automatically append the serial number during provisioning. So for example, if I specify SD for school district and then add a dash and then add a percent serial percent, Windows will create a name as SD hyphen and then append the serial number. There is an option to configure a device for shared device user here. However, we recommend leaving this off and keeping as much device configuration via Intune as possible so that you have a single source of truth for device configuration. You can enable these settings in Intune Settings Catalog. Once you're ready, click Next to continue. Now we can optionally enter the details to connect to a Wi-Fi network. If you leave Wi-Fi off, the device will need an Ethernet connection during the out-of-box experience. Using a PPKG, Windows supports adding open or WPA2 Wi-Fi profiles. When using a provisioning package on a device, the process is fully automated, so there is no opportunity to use captive portals or certificates. If you specify a Wi-Fi profile in the package, but the device you provision doesn't have a Wi-Fi network card, the provisioning package will fail to apply. So you may need to have one provisioning package for devices with Wi-Fi and one provisioning package for devices with only Ethernet. Once you're ready, click Next to continue. On the account management screen, we need to connect to Untra ID and download a bulk enrollment token. Untra ID is the new name for Azure AD, which is still specified in this tool. Select Enroll in Azure AD. Select Refresh AD Credentials to ensure you're prompted for credentials instead of using the Windows logged in user account. Note by default, a bulk enrollment token will expire after 180 days, which is the maximum allowed in Untra ID. You can choose a shorter period before retrieving the token. Once you're ready, select Get Bulk Token and follow the sign-in prompts. If this is the first time someone in your school is using Windows Configuration Designer, you'll be asked to consent to using this application. Depending on your tenant settings, you may need to be a global administrator to consent. If you get prompted to stay signed in to all your apps, select No, sign into this app only. Once the token is ready, click Next to continue. PPKG files support EXE, MSI, MSIX and offline store apps. Unless you are concerned about internet bandwidth or enrollment speed, we recommend configuring applications in Intune rather than in an offline PPKG so that you have a single source of truth for application installation. However, you may decide to install one or two apps that are really big or take a long time to install. Once you've added your apps, click Next to continue. On the certificate screen, you can add certificates as required. For example, you may want to install the root certificate to establish trust with your Wi-Fi network and any internal web services. You can also deploy certificates using Intune. Once you've added your certificates, select Next to continue. 
On the summary screen, you can review all of your selections before you continue. Once you're ready, select Create. The PPKG will be saved to the specified directory. You can click on the link to open the folder. Copy the file of type Runtime Provisioning Package with this icon. Now insert a USB stick and open the folder. Then paste the files. Now you can eject the USB drive from the Windows taskbar and remove the USB drive from your computer. Our provisioning package is ready to be used to provision devices. In our demo, we copied the PPKG to one USB drive, but you can copy the PPKG to as many USB drives as you need so that you can use it on multiple devices at the same time. Also, during enrollment, the USB drive only needs to stay inserted until the screen says the removable media can be removed, allowing you to remove the USB drive from that computer and move on to the next one. Let's switch across to our Windows 11 device and show you how it all works. Unbox the device, insert your USB stick and power on the device. Windows will recognize the USB stick and automatically start provisioning. As soon as Windows recognizes the file, you can remove the USB drive and use it on the next device. Because we specified a computer name, it will reboot and then join Untra ID. Once complete, a message will be displayed to show that setup is complete. It's best to leave the computer powered on and at the logon screen for a few minutes to ensure it has time to finish its first synchronization with Intune. The demo I just showed you is an example of how to provision devices using the default regional and language settings of the Windows image on that device. The best way to find out what the default image settings are in a particular batch of devices is to provision one of them and check the settings app. You can find regional and language settings in the settings app under time and language, then selecting language and region. If your device's default regional and language settings don't match what you need, or you aren't sure, you can select them manually after powering on the device, but before you insert the USB drive. Power on the device, choose the language, region and keyboard settings, then on the add a second keyboard screen, insert the USB drive to start provisioning. Now that you've seen how it all works, let's cover some key facts about provisioning packages. Firstly, there is a maximum of 500 bulk tokens at any one time in an Untra ID tenant. Each token can be valid for up to 180 days. If you need to remove old tokens, you can find them in Untra ID with the name package underscore GUID and by checking the creation date. The good news is that while the token is valid, it can be used an unlimited number of times to enroll devices. You can also copy a single PPKG to multiple USB drives to enroll as many devices as you need at once. Finally, if you need to troubleshoot a provisioning package applying, you can find information in the event log under Microsoft Windows Provisioning Diagnostics Provider. Now you can repeat the process of powering on devices, inserting the USB drive, and having the device be automatically provisioned with Intune. In the video description, you'll find links to information on Windows Configuration Designer, provisioning packages, the Intune for Education Deployment Workshop, and our Getting Started with Cloud Native Windows Endpoints Guide. Thank you.